Modern Warfare has some amazing guns, some very, very powerful weapons at your disposal, but that's not saying that all guns are created equal and there are some bad choices. What is up everybody, Chaos here, welcome to the channel and today we're going to go over my personal picks for the worst guns in Modern Warfare, the guns that you should avoid or if you want a challenge, the guns that you should try to rank up and get attachments for. Drop a like guys, as always we are running the PlayStation 4 giveaway, all you have to do is hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. Leave me a comment why you want to win this PlayStation 4 and include your Twitter handle. If you don't have one, make one. Good luck. Now, let's get into it at number 10 with the Origin 12. Yes, the good old fashioned spam shotgun because we have to have one, right? We always have to have a spam shotgun with a massive magazine and when it was first revealed to be in the game, a lot of people were worried that we would have another Brecci on our hand. Is it Brecci or Brecci? Somebody let me know in the comment section, but thankfully the Origin 12, it's not the, the B word. Okay, well it is the B word, but not that B word. Sure, but as potential in the massive magazine definitely makes up for the kind of crappy damage, but the Origin 12 has super unforgiving range, and if you're past point blank range with this thing, and you're going up against someone who uses an automatic weapon or a 725, you are almost always going to lose that gunfight. And uh, I guess it's a good thing that it's not the other shotgun. At number nine, Combat Knife. And you're thinking, Jimmy, this is the wrong video. I know, I know, the knife isn't a gun, but it is still a weapon in Modern Warfare, and it kind of sucks. So I'm putting it on the list because it's my video and I'm just doing it. Now let me clarify, the combat knife itself doesn't suck, but due to the mechanics of the game and how hard it is to actually go melee only in this game, the knife sucks by consequences of that, like other games in the series. The combat knife is a one hit melee kill and it gives you a little bit of lunge when you first use it, but keep in mind, this is Modern Warfare. This is a game where there's a lot of open areas, a ton of large wide open maps, and a whole lot of campers who aren't going to leave any opportunity for a flank. It's not like BO3 or BO4 where you could use things like stem or armor or wall running to get up close with people for a melee strike. This game is really hard to go melee only in and for that reason, the combat knife gets on the video today. I think once Infinity Ward adds some, some more smaller maps, three lane maps, you'll see more people running knives only, but until that happens, the combat knife is sitting at number nine on our list. Next up is the Kilo 141. 141. It's the first assault rifle you get in Modern Warfare and it's a pretty decent well-rounded weapon. It's got a high fire rate. It kills pretty quickly up close, most of the guns do, and the handling isn't too terrible compared to other weapons. But when you compare the Kilo to the M4A1, it is hard to ignore the fact that this thing is basically just a nerfed M4. The M4 fires quicker, it handles better, uh, it also has higher base damage, which makes it much more effective at taking enemies down at close range. Plus, the Kilo has some pretty awful range drop-off damage when it's dropping down to five to six shots to kill somebody at long distance. That's not good, especially with unpredictable recoil, whereas the M4 will still laser people from said distance. Now the Kilo uh, 141 isn't a bad gun on its own, but it gets a spot on the list today because it's simply inferior to its counterpart, the M4, in possibly, I mean, really in every possible way. At number seven, the M13. Does anybody remember everything I said about the Kilo 20 seconds ago? Well, it's basically just a worse version of the M4A1, right? Pretty much everything I said there applies to the M13 as well. I know, it's kind of cheap, but it's true. I, I think the M13 is supposed to be kind of a hybrid AR SMG. It has a super fast fire rate, lower damage, and very, very easy recoil. But just like with the Kilo, the fact of the matter is, it's just a dumbed down version of the M4A1. And honestly, I'm not sure if we should attribute this to the M4 being too good, or the rest of the assault rifles just not being as good. So I'm gonna ask you guys, do you think the M4 needs a nerf or do you think the other rifles need brought up to its status? Okay, let's get some SMG love in here. The PP-19 Bison. Now, this was somewhat of a fan favorite back in Call of Duty Ghosts and it was, here, here's a little fun fact for you, okay? It was actually supposed to appear in the original Modern Warfare but it was cut during development. So, it seems fitting that an IW would revive this SMG but am I the only one who is a bit underwhelmed by it right now? The PP-19 features a huge 64 round magazine, that's a plus, and it makes use of a solid fire rate and pretty manageable recoil, plus number two and number three, but the damage 
The damage is bad past point blank range, and it ends up just being another hit marker machine. Plus, let me ask you guys another question. I know it's not a test, but if you want to use a big magazine spammy SMG in Modern Warfare, what gun do you use? Probably the P90, right? Maybe the MP7? At the end of the day, the PP19 just doesn't have a real purpose in the sandbox right now. It gets beaten out in time to kill by the MP5 and the P90, and if you want a big magazine SMG, you have two vastly better options. This is why you hardly ever see anybody using it. So the PP-19 is another one of those guns in MW that isn't bad on its own, but in terms of carving out its own place in the sandbox, it just doesn't do anything unique right now. Cracking into the top five, the MG-34. Another one of those fun throwback weapons in Modern Warfare, and just like the previous iterations, it is a super fast firing LMG. It has a drum mag on the side, you're ready to roll. Now it has extremely fast kill potential if you can hit your shots, but that's the big if. That's a lot easier said than done. It has some ridiculous hip fire spread, and while the ADS accuracy is okay, it's also an LMG. So you shouldn't be expecting yourself to be able to move quickly around and aim down sights. Now, I suppose you could work out some kind of hip fire class with the MG34 and it would be fun, kind of like the saw in COD 4, but by default, this thing really isn't very good. And that mainly has to do with the mechanics of modern warfare as a whole. It shoots super fast and it can, it, it can potentially kill really quickly, but the instances where that actually happens, they're more rare than common and not really worth the use for the gun. Next up is the EBR-14. Now this has appeared a couple times in previous Call of Duty games and a good amount of players were excited to see it make a return in Modern Warfare. It's the first weapon in the marksman rifle category, but holy crap, it sucks. I mean, it really does. It comes with a 10 round mag by default. It fires in semi-automatic mode. It's generally a two shot kill, which is nice and it rewards you for being accurate, but just about everything else about this gun is dookie. The fire rate cap is very low. The iron sights are not clean. And put simply, a two shot kill semi-automatic weapon just doesn't do well in a game as fast paced as Modern Warfare when it comes to time to kill. Not fast paced in every aspect, you know what I mean. There's so many guns in the game that will kill you before you even react. So when you have a gun that almost always requires two shots to kill and it fires slowly, well, you have to wonder if you'll ever use it unless you're using it for challenges or unlocks. The EBR does get better once you unlock sights for it. And you can start treating it like a DMR with some attachments, but why not just use an actual sniper rifle at that point? And speaking of sniper rifles, you didn't think we were gonna have a worse list without putting this on here, did you? The Dragon Off. It's a meme weapon, plain and simple. It's put in the game, it's put in every game as a meme. The semi-automatic sniper rifle has appeared many, many times throughout Call of Duty history, and it's almost always been a low tier, run of the mill, crappy dookie weapon. COD 4. Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, Advanced Warfare, and it was never anything more than an average gun at best. And here it is again, and once again, it's a low tier sniper. The new Dragunov has a very low fire rate cap compared to its predecessors, which makes it extremely annoying to try to go get follow-up shots with. And the one-shot kill range feels extremely inconsistent. So sometimes you'll get a one-shot to the chest, then sometimes you'll have to pop them again. And since this is Modern Warfare, if you take a shot at someone and you don't get the kill, there's a good chance they'll just spray you down and melt you before you ever get a chance to pull the trigger of the dragon off again. It's definitely the worst sniper in the game right now, and I think it's one of the worst weapons overall. I hate putting this at number two, but I have to. The foul is just bad. I don't know what Infinity Ward did to this beast or what made them want to nerf it into the ground, but they did. It used to be kind of a mainstay in the Call of Duty series, appearing in Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, and it was always a formidable weapon, especially in BO2 where it was overpowered. It was really overpowered, but the new foul in Modern Warfare, it's not. This semi-automatic assault rifle will come equipped with a 20 round mag, and while you can fire it pretty quickly, the recoil is very high, and the damage is way lower than previous games. It will take up to three shots to kill, which is the exact opposite of what you want from a semi-automatic weapon, especially in a game where everyone is running around with M4s and instantly deleting people. If you throw a bunch of attachments on the foul, you can improve the handling and you can hit the upper body. It becomes a two-shot kill instead of a three, which is good, but think about it like this. Why would you deal with all that when you could just use the M4 and melt people instantly? If your goal is to do well with an assault rifle, why would you ever, ever use the foul? It's just, it's not consistent enough to warrant using right now. And at number one today, a pistol, the X-16. Yeah, this thing was considered by most to be the worst gun in the game back during the alpha and the beta. And now that the full game is out, here we are. Starting a handgun, and it just, 
it has way too many drawbacks. It, that's it. it. Especially considered uh, with the other firearms or the other sidearms. This thing, it hits super, super light. It's like you're, you got, it's a pillow fight. You're in a pillow fight. It's objectively worse than all the other pistols. And I will say that one ni nice aspect of the X-16 is the fact that there is a ton of attachments. And you can actually get the magazine all the way up to 26 rounds, which is cool, right? I know Modern Warfare isn't exactly a game where Infinity War wanted the pistols to be amazing, but... If we're talking about the best and the worst guns, I don't think many people are going to argue with me putting the X-16 at number one. It's just not a good gun. And there you have it, my friends. Let me know another gun. Doesn't have to be a main. Could be a primary. Could be a secondary. Could be a launcher that you think is just straight garbage. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. There's another COD history video on the screen right now. You guys go click on that, and I will see you over in the comment section. We will continue the conversation.